Guess who got new hair? Me! You've probably seen it already, spammed on Instagram 100 million times, or just in my other vlogs, then it's no surprise to you, unless you have, haven't have seen them, then it may be a surprise. But I have been, I have turned into a blonde person. Goodbye, purple, it was nice knowing you. It might, you might come back soon, who knows. But for now, I'm gonna be blonde. My dog wants me, I must, I must see to her. Just say hi quickly, hello. So yeah, I went blonde. I have a vlog of the day, but I shall insert some footage of me going blonde anyway. So I I decided that I wanted to go blonde quite a while ago. I think it was when I saw the trailers to Atomic Blonde, I was like, oh, I wanna go blonde. I wanna look like a spy. And that was kind of like my, that was like my, my inspiration. I wanted to look like a spy. I left it for a bit and I thought, no, cause you'll always, you'll end up going back to purple. There's no point, etc., cetera, et cetera. So originally with my hair, which has been purple for so long, I had light ends and then a deep purple root. And every time I went to the salon, I'd just get my roots done, like a dark purple and then like a purple, like kind of rinse or something through the end. And then over time, because the roots obviously grow down the dark purple was like coming down here so I wanted to then lighten this section of hair so this again would be lighter and then it'd have a deep root so I started going for balayages then just dyeing the purple over the top and so it kind of would naturally be a little bit darker here and then more vibrant at the bottom so I went I was getting these balayages done and then I kept putting the purple on top but it still wasn't quite right so I went to go see Tom who stripped out all the color from my hair all the purple and revealed the balayage which was like you know lighter down here and then darker at the top but just it was just like blonde and kind of oranges he then kind of treated that with like the silvery blue thing um, in this picture which was also when I got it all chopped off um, and I was left with that but because the color underneath was quite warm that silvery kind of color did eventually like wash out so I started using Wella Perfecton which is a rinse in wash out like liquid I used the purpley pink color and that's why my hair up until now has been looking like this like different kind of purples and that is just the Perfecton sitting on top of the hair it hasn't like penetrated the color like it hasn't penetrated the hair at all because it's a rinse in wash out amazing stuff if you want temporary hair color definitely get Wella perfect on they do a few different shades but it's just so good I've been thinking about being blonde for a while like or just at least like a natural kind of color and I'd already booked in an appointment with Tom he's so sought after <laughs> that it, it does take a while to like book in so the best thing to do is to kind of when you have an appointment make sure you book in your next appointment when you when you're at that appointment so I, I had appointment booked in anyway because the goal was for me essentially was to actually he'd already stripped all that color out and put that silver on and I could see how light my hair was underneath but I wanted a really light clear base again I wanted to have like a light base so I could put on any color that I wanted mix it however I wanted and it would come out the way it's supposed to rather than kind of dying over like different shades of like brown or whatever so I, I wanted basically to go blonde or light as a base color which I could then put colors on top of so that was always the plan was to lighten my hair again when I next saw Tom but then I decided that actually when I see him I do actually want to be blonde I don't want to be lightened with the intention of dyeing it purple again to make a more vibrant purple I actually want to be blonde so yeah I told him and he was like okay so what we had to do was first of all we had to bleach this band of hair here which the darker purple was or like sitting on so we did this section first because that was gonna be the toughest to get the color out of so it was like this kind of band there once that was on all over he then put the blonde on the root and it went so blonde the root so once he'd finished doing all the root he then dragged the bleach down to the ends of my hair to get any color out any any purple out and it came out like pretty instantly because it was like perfect on so it just pff, came out and then I was left with this crazy hair like really light root warmth around there and then light ends. I did also decide that I wanted to have a shadow root as well, which is this thing. So a shadow root is obviously, it's darker. I, I've always been a fan of a shadow root. So I just wanted a, just a slight shadow root, even on the blonde. What we did was we washed out the bleach. We put some treatments on, some masks on. We put some Olaplex on the hair. Tom dyed in a, a, faux, a faux root. So this root color that you see is actually just a dark blonde, but it just creates this nice sort of natural looking blonde look. 
look. It also means that when my hair actually grows out, which is a very similar colour actually, it won't be that noticeable. The last few times I've been, like when I have been blonde, it's always been like a silver or a grey and I, I don't think I've been like this kind of blonde in such a long time. Or, or maybe even ever. I think I might have been a shittier version of this when I was trying to go blonde myself. I really love it. I'm so chuffed with it. I have got a selection of hair products that I want to show you as well which I'm going to be using to keep my hair in good condition because obviously any kind of bleach that anything bleach related is going to be damaging. We did use Olaplex when we were bleaching the hair. You know, still, still going to need some TLC. So I'm going to show you the hair products that I use. I have been actually using for a while and I love. My hair condition has been so good recently. That's one of the things when I saw him, he was a bit nervous about that if my hair was going to be in good enough condition to actually bleach. And it was, it was actually pretty good. So these products are so, so good. Some of them are a little bit pricey. They do exactly what they say that they're going to do, especially if you're really seeking to like get your hair in really good condition. I think it's worth investing in because it's just, this stuff is so good. The first port of call is... <laughs> This is Olaplex, and Olaplex is, it repairs and strengthens all hair types. What it is, is it's a bond builder. It's not a conditioner, it says not conditioner, this is a bond builder. What that basically means is your hair is obviously made up of lots of different things. When you cause damage to your hair or you bleach your hair, it breaks the bonds in your hair. I'm trying to say this in the most easiest way, it could be technically kind of be wrong, but for um, a like a dumb, dumb person's point of view. It builds the hair back up from the inside. So it's not a conditioner, it's just, it, it reforms the bonds in your hair, which may have been damaged through chemical or bleaching, that kind of stuff. So I use Olaplex, use once per week for damaged hair two to three times per week. So what I do is I wet my hair, I put this on, I leave it for a minimum of 10 minutes. I am actually gonna start sleeping in this and then washing my hair and stuff the next morning, but apparently you can sleep in it, someone told me. But I put this on for a minimum of 10 minutes. I normally, this is, I wanna do my hair, my hair routine is quite a ritual these days, so I actually do all this in the bath, so I'll make sure I've got a good playlist on, I've got the nice bubbles and stuff, because I've got one of them handheld shower head things, it's, I just rinse it off with that, but yeah, put this on, leave it on for a minimum of 10 minutes, and then I rinse it out, and then I move on to my, oh my, God, my eyelashes coming off, why does this happen, is it really that noticeable, can you see it, okay, I've acknowledged it though, so that's fine. I then move on to my shampoo and conditioner, Tom is, my hairdresser, is a uh, Evo ambassador. He got me into the products and I started using them and they actually, Evo themselves started, because I was like tagging them loads and everything, they actually sent me a selection of products. So I'm very grateful for that, thank you very much, but I have bought a bunch of their stuff also. But I use the Ritual Salvation Repairing Shampoo. It says, your hair is your friend, treat it right and you'll be on your way to mastering your destiny and becoming that person you've always dreamed of being. So it's, it's this shit. And then I also use the main attention protein treatment from Evo. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so coming off. If you're into your hair stuff, you all know that protein is great. Replacing proteins, building proteins up in your hair is kind of essential if your hair is like dry and rank. What I love about Evo is they're kind of like no bullshit. Their products are amazing, but they're not like a gimmick either. You know like how some poo, some shampoo companies will be like, oh, it's, it's made with gold elixir to make it shiny. No, none of that shite, it just says it how it is and uh, I shampoo it and then I put my conditioner on and I leave this on for like five, 10 minutes as well. So they, they're all doing their thing. And it honestly, my hair feels so good, so good <laughs> and nice and thick and it stays shiny for longer. I feel like I'm doing an Evo Olaplex ad, I'm not. Um, but it would be nice. But uh, genuinely, it's really good. And then for my styling, once my hair is washed, I'll then move on to the Evo. This is called Happy Campers, and it's a leave-in moisturizer. So I'll like towel dry my hair a bit, and then I'll put this on. This is for damp or dry hair. You just put it in and, and you leave it in. So I put that on. It's like, it's like your face, isn't it? You just, you moisturize after you get out of the bath or something. This is what I do after I wash it. I moisturize my hair. And then when I blow dry my hair, I use this stuff, which is the Evo Mr. Fantastic Blowout Spray, which is basically, it stops frizzing and it accelerates blow dry time. Like it makes it 
quicker to blow dry hair and also as a heat protector insane so good love this stuff it actually works just a perfect product really honestly this really does seem like a fucking evo spawn but it ends and after that again you can use this stuff on, on damp or dry hair so depending on what i'm feeling usually i put it on when it's damp still actually the end doctor which is a smoothing sealant so it just seals the ends of your hair you know like you don't want split ends or anything so almost no side effects end doctor will help you protect your hair against heat damage mend the broken strands and bring back in in line the strays breaking away from the pack so yeah this is stuff that tom used in the salon on me so it was just super nice so i just put it on the ends just little blob put it all through the ends here because that's obviously you notice like split ends and stuff just keeps everything intact and nice especially because i've got like a bob i want it to look super blunt and super together so i use this stuff that's really good and then the last thing i use on my hair no it's not the last last thing so when, if i'm about to style my hair so just before i curl it this is the heat protector i use and it's the evo icon welder hot tool shaper so it's a heat protector but what it does is it helps to keep the style intact it's supposed to protect your hair from hot conditions and helps lock in your style i mean i just spray it all over at once but it's you are actually supposed to spray each individual part before you style it so i'll probably make more out of the product if i actually did it properly <laughs> and then afterwards oh my god guys this is not an evo product OMG, this is a Kevin Murphy um, bedroom hair, flexible texturizing hairspray. I just give my hair a little spruce for this, a little bit of a zhuzh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and it gives that kind of nice textured bedroom hair. I'm all about the messy life, the messy look, the rock check look. That's it, that's my story of my hair, what I use, my routine, the products I use. And this is my new hair. I really like being this colour. I kind of feel, kind of feel like a, a little bit more grown up and I feel almost like it's like a new start, like a new me, a new version of me, if that makes any sense. I know the purple is like my trademark and it probably won't be like too long until it's back because I feel like it's my thing. But also at the same time, I do really like this look and I feel like this is just another side to me and uh, like, you know, I like it because it's kind of rock and roll, you know, like classic rock and roll. Like people, t a few people have told me I look a bit like Debbie Harry, you know, blondie. And I like that. Rock and roll, rock and fucking roll, mate. So yes, my friends, that is that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Farewell. Goodbye. Ta-ta.